the hell are you doing? I am doing my eyebrows. That's a big wait. I am doing my eyebrows. That's a big ass mirror. I have big ass eyebrows. Where the hell is my camera? Wait, what? There it is. <laughs> God, I'm having a stroke. That's a big ass mirror. Oh my god, okay, what am I gonna do with this thing now? Ah! Yeah! Um, so, literally nobody asked, but I'm making a video about how I draw, like, more complicated backgrounds. I like to make them in The Sims, cause I, I thought that was a person, it's a telephone pole. Cause I really like playing Sims. Um, and also it's, I really like being able to look around in a 3D space of like <clears throat> a location that I thought of in my head and like seeing it, instead of just drawing it out, I get to see like all the perspectives and stuff, so. Is this also me watching way too much Sims YouTube and wanting to make a video about The Sims? Absolutely! But also, it does have art um, behind it, so it's fine. It's fine. I think I'm just gonna start building and see where it takes me. Quick note for me who's editing this, um, I don't know how, but the first half of my footage of The Sims build is just gone. I am assuming it's because I'm a dumbass, because that's usually um, my downfall, but like, I know I double checked that it was recording, because I do that every time I'm screen recording, because I'm a paranoid bitch. Um, so I don't know what happened to it, but this is the house. Um, I just kind of made a big L shape from scratch and then like started adding rooms and lights and like went from there. Um, you can kind of see that process more in the footage of me designing the upstairs and like putting rooms. Um, not that anyone cares, <laughs> but uh, yeah. I know I'm not the first artist on YouTube to do this, but also it's my channel and I get to post what I want. Let's see, I know vaguely the kind of like vibe I want for this house. I know I want it to feel like old. Like not exactly like your grandparents house, but like close enough, you know? Check, vibe, check, vibe, check. Cause they've all failed the damn vibe check. Vibe, check, vibe, check, vibe. None of these scream front door to me. Vibe, check, vibe, check. Have I thought of what I want to put here? No, so I'm just gonna put a big ol- I'm just gonna put a big ol' rug and uh, move on to the upstairs. Oh, oh, I like that a lot. Ah, oh, that looks really good, okay. Hi, also, if you want to, you can just ignore how I leave um, the face cam in for uh, when I speed up the footage. I, I just think it's really funny, the faces I make when I'm like focused on something. Um, also, I don't just talk to myself like for the sake of the video, like, oh, you know, the camera's recording, I should probably say something to like fill in the silence. No, I just talk to myself all the time. Like, it's not even funny, like it, it's a problem. I'll be like playing Uncharted at 3 a.m. and I'll be like, Ooh, gotta, gotta jump off the. Oh no, I can't believe you've done this. I have a problem. Anyway. <laughs> See, look at this idiot. She's just like, mm hmm, mm hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. <laughs> A mirror right there. Personally, I hate staying in rooms with mirrors because 
I just realized my closet's been opening open this entire time. <sighs> anyway, personally. I hate sleeping in rooms that also have mirrors in them because I am a superstitious bitch and being in any dark room with a mirror in it kind of just really freaks me out. But I do quite like the aesthetic of it, I'm not gonna lie. Why is this one up so high? Okay, here's what I'm thinking. For the upstairs, this is the master bedroom. It's not done, but I, I'm gonna come back to it later. Um, I want a study and then two, like, guest slash kids bedrooms. Um, there's a lot of open space here that we do not necessarily need. Whoa! I solved it. Eh? Yeah, no, I think it doesn't good. look stupid. No. What? Never mind. It does. What is this? <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay. <laughs> okay, thanks. Thank you. 
All right, that's that might be good. Okay, so the first thing I did was go into the Sims build and take uh, screenshots of backgrounds I thought would make um, compelling drawings. Um, I tried to go for, I don't really have that good of an eye for composition usually, um, but I chose about, uh, I chose two out of, of the like seven that I took. Um, the foyer with the stairs and then in the bedroom here. I did originally intend to do um, like a scene in the kitchen also, but once I got to them, once I got to it, I was like, uh, my motivation was just like, all right, I, I'm gonna head out. Um, I was like, two is enough, two is enough. It's fine, it's fine. Um, which I'm a little bit upset about cause like, it looks like it would be real cute. Like a mom making eggs and like her son is like, oh, I'm sleepy and don't want to go to school. I don't know. Um, <laughs> so I start by, um, I usually try to go over um, it kind of rough so that I'm not copying it like frame by frame. Frame by frame? Does that apply? I don't know. Um, really, I just, I'm just doing this for like perspective and like, yeah, mostly just perspective, because that's something that I um, kind of struggle with, um, especially if it's a space that I conceived in my head and it's not one that I'm like drawing that's like right in front of me. It's so helpful to like make it in like a 3D virtual thing and be able to look around and see how things kind of look. Um, I also try very hard. <laughs> Everything is just a placeholder, really. So I try very hard to make things like my own. Cause like, I could just copy it, but like, it doesn't feel right. <laughs> That's not fun. Copying isn't fun. Um, like tracing over things isn't fun. So you, I just struggle for a while here trying to make like a kind of banister that's not the one like from the Sims build. I spent like way too much time on this banister. <laughs> also, like for paintings and stuff, it really doesn't matter like what's in the painting. I just know I want a picture frame there and like the knickknacks on that little like coffee table there. Um, I end up putting like a picture frame there. I just put those there to remind me, hey, I want things on this table. Um, I curve the stairs a bit. Um, yeah, <laughs> um, once I got to the painting, I like, I did look up like, ooh, let's draw like a landscape. But then I was like, nah, I just, oh, I really don't want to do that. I'm just going to get some like original art that I've drawn before and like shrink it down and put it there. Um, <laughs> I also did crop them because I realized they were too big and like the people that I wanted to be the foreground were quite far away so I zoomed in so that it would be easier to differentiate them from the background kind of. I also tried to do that um, with the colors. Um, <laughs> I use complementary colors way too much. <laughs> For like more simple compositions like these single drawings um, it's it's not too bad but um I definitely need to uh, challenge myself and push myself to take it a bit further for more complicated things. But um, for this one, I tried to make the boy more like cool, like blue colors. Um, and then the background, I tried to do mostly like orangey so that um, he wouldn't blend into it too much. And for the girl in bed, I do the same thing. I um, put her in like a yellow shirt in like a purple bed. <laughs> I don't know. I just. I find working with complementary colors like way too fun and I do it all the time and like I should probably do something about that but like sometimes I'm just drawing for fun, you know? Coloring can be stressful. Speaking of coloring being stressful, I don't know if you noticed but I do not know how to color backgrounds. <laughs> which works sometimes. Um, if the like people, which I want to be the foreground, I make them really shaded and comp like 
that's ob- that's that's obviously he's got shadows on him um and the background doesn't as much hopefully that helps to further like differentiate foreground from background if the like person in the picture is a bit more detailed than the background hopefully that makes them pop out a little bit more so i don't really know what's happening in the first pick i'll i'll leave it up to you to decide if he's like in timeout or um waiting for like his parents to come home from work and help him with his homework or a video game or something i don't know i'll leave it up to you um this one i was originally playing around with oh maybe it's like a teenager lounging on a bed like reading a magazine or something but then i was like no nah, i'm gonna i'm gonna make a girl sick in bed with like a bad cold or like the flu or something and she's like watching tv um i did the same thing with the tv <laughs> that i did with the paintings I was like, I am not drawing like a fake TV show. I'm just gonna like shrink down some original art by me and uh, put it on the TV. <laughs> it's the uh, Stardew Valley thing I drew to have fun on my birthday <laughs> this year. So I guess she's watching lesbians on a farm. I don't know. I mean, I would watch it, but. <laughs> Um, and then the same thing with the painting. I did the, like, stained glass swings angel thing that I did, um, a year or two ago, I think? And I forgot to mention, but the, the little picture on the, like, coffee table in the foyer with the boy was, um, characters from my webcomic that I shrunk down. <laughs> I wonder if that makes it harder on me when I, I find it really hard to draw like really, really tiny. I like drawing like a full size thing and then shrinking it down. I wonder if that's more work for me, but it's just, it's easier <laughs> to see my mistakes. I feel kind of bad for drawing her looking so miserable. <laughs> I kind of want to bring her like soup or something. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're real cute though. <laughs> Um, I also tried to make the TV look like it's glowing, kind of, but it's it was a bit harder to do in a well-lit room than I anticipated. Which sounds like it should be obvious, but I didn't realize it until I was actually doing it. Oh well. <laughs> Thank you for watching this for the end, if you did. Um, <laughs> this is kind of a like tutorial tip thing but also kind of just me goofing around and making things in the sims and then drawing them i don't know i don't know it's my channel i get to pick the content here's some sims um i play sims so much i have so many hours in the sims i just don't show it because <laughs> that's my procrastination game and i don't really like to uh, announce that i'm not doing work and i'm playing sims instead but this is a happy medium because technically i got a video out of it so i'm happy i don't know if you're happy so i can't say everyone's happy but at least i'm happy right <laughs> oh my gosh okay <laughs>